Hello, everyone, and welcome to In The Know 360, show hosted by me, Annette, the warm-hearted warrior diva. This show gives you insights on the journeys of high-achieving business owners and music artists who share with our audience the importance of building a strong community of like-minded individuals on the road to greater success. Today's show is very special, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's a collaboration with NNL 360 and Ms. Yannick Epstein, also known as Yannicka. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for Hi. joining me, ma'am. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor. I'm so excited to have this conversation with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, Yannicka's musical lineage has roots under the tutelage of the great Russian master, Yasha Heifetz, who heavily, heavily influenced her technique. At a very young age, her musical talent was recognized by Dorothy DeLay at Juilliard, who invited her to study and perform at the Aspen Music Festival. She went on to study with Ruggiero Ricci and Jean Fournier at the Mozarteum in Salzburg, where she received a full scholarship. Professor Fournier invited Yannicka to study at the Paris Conservatory of Music. Yannicka also received a full scholarship at the Royal College of Music in London. She continued her studies with Joseph Gingold at Bloomington. Her culminating prowess came under her, the masterful teaching of Eric Friedman, Yasha Heifetz, protege at Yale. Welcome, Yannicka. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor. Well, ma'am, we have several questions for you tonight. And no pressure. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have your violin with you right now. <laughs> we could do a little intro. <laughs> okay. The first question is, who or what inspired you to start your career as a professional violinist and composer? So that's a two-part question because I didn't start composing until um, maybe a, two, a year and a half, two years ago. So, okay. so um, I started playing. It was a very, very interesting story, very cool story. So my grandpa on my dad's side, um, Yankel, who I was named after, was a concert violinist. Oh, okay. And growing up, my mom and dad didn't tell me that. They didn't want me to, they always wanted their, um, they wanted a daughter who played the violin, but they didn't want to tell me that, you know, like for me, for, for, it, they wanted it to come from me. They didn't want to force it on me. Oh. So I never knew what my grandpa did. So when I was about nine years old, I went to my first symphony concert and I saw the violin and I fell in love. I knew I, I begged my mom and my dad to play the violin. Mm -hmm. After that, I found out that literally I was named after my grandpa, Yanko, Wow. who was a concert violinist. Wow. And he passed away when he was 45 years old. Oh, wow. um, it's a very sad story. Um, he was on, on the way to a concert on a tour bus, and his stand partner was pregnant at the time. Oh. And she came on the bus, and she asked to switch seats with, them, with him. Mm -hmm. And on the way to the concert, two buses collided, and my grandpa was the only one who, who died on that bus. Oh, no. And he switched seats with a pregnant woman. So... Wow, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I never got a chance to meet him, but my dad says that his, my playing reminds him of me, so. My condolences. Thank you. Me. Thank you. I look like him, too. <laughs> Aw. 
Well, well, your your looks like Lita Red is here. Shout yeah. out to Lita Red. Thank Hi, you for joining. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, you play the violin very beautifully. So thank you. That means the world to me. Thank you it's, so much. It's like it's like butter, smooth wow. like butter. <laughs> Wow. So natural, it really is, and and Thank just you. your your um, passion for the instrument, right? It, it's not just an instrument; you just you bring it to life, and that's Thank one thing you. I love about you. Thank you. Just make that. Oh, it just gives me chills. Um, <laughs> so, what challenges have you faced during your journey and becoming a musician, and what inspires you to keep going despite these challenges? Well, deep question. <laughs> so I find that the challenges are within me. Mm. So um, I guess all musicians and artists, they have doubts about themselves because we're so vulnerable and we, ex you know, we're showing the world, we're expressing how we feel inside to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm always saying to myself, you know, in the questioning myself, um, and it's been a journey. And because of all the love and support that I've gotten um, on social media, it's just, helped me so much with my confidence mm -hmm. and i just i'm so grateful mm -hmm. for every comment for every person that reaches out to me like one time somebody messaged me and um they said that their wife passed away mm -hmm. and they listened to my music and it made them feel better i mean oh. come on like that to me is more than winning the lottery. You know what I mean? That's like everything. That means everything. Like, so through all these, I have, I feel like I have so much family now that I've never even met on, in person, but they, everybody means so much to me, like literally from the bottom of my heart. So. Wow. 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 That's a lot of chilling. Um, responses from you and and you know yeah music gosh yeah definitely can hear the like i said you bring the emotion out of from the instrument and it's not a, just a violin it's a magical violin because you're magical you know you bring the magic out <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for sure and how would you describe your music style so I don't think I have one style. So like the, the violin to me, like you said, it's just, you know, it's an extension of me. It's like my voice. So growing up, like um, it was very hard for me in the school. I was always bullied a lot for playing the violin. So um, for actually for playing the violin and for my mom being my best friend. So they used to always make fun of me because like what? they would ask me, who's your best friend? I said, my mom, she, you know, my mom and my grandma, they're my best friends. But you know, kids can be cruel. Yes, <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. So, but um, yeah, so what was the question again? <laughs> I went off on a Oh, <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, no, the question was, how would you describe your music right, style? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so my music style, I love all music. Okay. So I just want to play the violin and touch people and help people through hard times, celebrate their good times, mm -hmm. you know, just be there with them and help them through my music. So I don't care. Like, I consider music, like to me, music is a universal language that brings us all yes. together. So I don't care what notes I'm playing. I don't care what genre I'm playing. I just want to play. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yes, yeah. I, I definitely can see you uh, playing with even hip hop music, which is I love hip hop phenomenal. music. Phenomenal. I tell yeah. you, when you when you had the video and you were wearing your cap, your baseball cap, I was like, okay, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. She got ready. She was. It was go time. Yeah. <laughs> so if you had your 
choice, right, uh, to open th up uh, music a show for for three artists. Wh who would they be? Okay, so Lizzo okay. really is such an inspiration. Right. You know, she just no matter who you are, what you are, like where you come from, we're all beautiful, right? We're all strong, right? So I would love, she's just such an inspiration to me. I love her so much. Uh, I would love to open up for her. Okay. Um, Beyonce, I love, she's such a queen. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> such an inspiration. Like she doesn't joke around. Um, I love Polo G. Okay. He's just, when he, when he sings and raps, you just feel it right here. And he's uh -huh. speaking from his experiences, you know? Mm -hmm. And just like yeah. something about his voice, it just cries out to me. So wow. another one would be Moshe Rubin. He's an amazing um, hip hop artist. Um, the first Orthodox Jewish person who was signed to a big record label in hip hop. Wow. Yeah amazing inspiration and he writes music he writes inspirational hip-hop um you know about not giving up about god loving you about god always being there for you about you know like believing in yourself and that's what i'm all about that's what my page is about because you know it's like for instance my son the most important thing for me to teach him is to love himself and believe in himself mm -hmm. you know because when you love yourself, truly love yourself and believe in yourself, anything's possible. Right. And then you can really like love other people. If you don't love yourself, how can you love other people? Right, right? exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's so true. Looks like Leo Red has a question. How yes. do you feel about everything going on with Lizzo being sued? Um. I honestly don't know a lot about it, but um, maybe you can fill me in about it because I don't, I personally don't like listening to news because yeah, it's me. so depressing to me. <laughs> right, right. No, I hear you. I hear you. Exactly. Do so, you know about what's going on with Lizzo? I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't tapped in. I, no. I, I like uh, just take getting my feet on my phone. You know, whenever yeah. I get a chance, but I've just been, I, I usually don't really watch the news. Shouldn't say that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> because I don't know, it's just too much it's stimulation, right? Uh, and so I like to keep my focus on the grind and, and yes. my, my kids. So I yeah. kind of tune out, unless, you know, I hear like, okay, the weather or something yes. that's a. Yes. <laughs> Like, oh gosh, it's Definitely. gonna be a whatever monsoon. Hopefully not, but yes, yes, <laughs> something like that. Um, oh, I'm, a very, like and I'm a very, I'm a very emotional person. So like when I hear something, uh, if it's bad or sad or even good, it just affects me so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. so what does Red say? Oh, she's saying here it's a big deal because she's always been an ambassador for plus size women. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I have to. Uh, hey, Red, let, let's get together and talk. Um, you can fill me in about it later. <laughs> <laughs> so what has been your best collaboration and which mainstream and underground music artists would you like to collaborate with the, in the future? Hmm. So that's a hard one, my best one. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, the most dear one to me, which like catapulted me starting to compose mm -hmm. was um, the one I did with MC Globe, oh. um, G-L-O-B-E. He, um, I mean, he's legendary, you know. Uh, he was a lyricist for um, Soul Sonic Force. Okay. Um, played for them Mr. DJ, Planet Rock, oh. you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I really pay attention who's um, commenting. And like I said, it means so much to me. So I noticed that he was um, liking my stuff and commenting. Um, so I was like, my mom always taught me, 
to reach out to people to ask, right? What's the worst they could say is no, right? right. So I messaged him and I said, um, thank you so much. First of all, it's such an honor um, for your support. And right. I said, would you, would you be um, willing to collaborate with me? So he said, yeah. And I was like, what? Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> So he's, um, we spoke and he sent me, you know, um, uh, the music and that was my first collaboration. Like I, oh, wow. that was my first thing that I wrote uh -huh. and it just came. So I just sat down in a dark, dark, like a dark room right. and listened to the music and all these like, so often when I'm just sitting around or I'm washing the dishes or I'm reading these melodies, melodies come to my head. Uh -huh. like oh, right. okay. so I started to like you know write them down or just play from ear and it's just so much fun because it's like my voice talking it's like my poetry without words you know oh okay yeah most definitely again uh <laughs> you do write poetry through your uh, music you. and through each string strum <laughs> I hear it <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it so much, especially that I was like, wow, back to back videos that you, um, you know, create a reels with. I was like, OK, I can see that it's it's very the the I know I'm going off a tangent, but yeah. the latest reel that you created, it kind of put me into this like Madonna. Um, yeah. 80s, 80s feel. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Was, was that what you you were trying to go for? yeah yeah okay okay yeah because yeah. then you know i was thinking of that movie um who's that girl i was it who's that girl or oh with madonna was, that was one yeah. of her movies yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so you're bringing me back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so music can change lives right like we've said before and moods and emotions uh, can you tell our audience how your music has done these things uh, besides the one example that you elaborated prior to this question? Yeah, it's just so like, I don't know how, how I became so lucky. Like all like so, so many people have just reached out to me and, you know, from different parts of the world, you know, from Iran, for instance, wow. okay, so one of my collaborations with it was with this amazing, amazing um, guitar players, uh, classical guitar, guitar players, Mustafa, and he's from Turkey. Wow. And we were speaking, he's incredible, incredible musician, artist, and he knows I'm Jewish, right? Mm -hmm. and, he, yeah. and he is Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. So we were speaking, and he's like, Do you, are you okay with doing something with me because I I said, what, what? I said, right. oh my goodness, what do you mean? Of course, like that has nothing to do with anything. Like, you know, I love all people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so music just really just, it just that he was, that he was so vulnerable to share that with me. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. people feel comfortable to come to me and tell me about their life. You know, I feel like people like, that's how I always was growing up. Like, mm -hmm. I love talking to people. I love being around people. You know, like when I talk to somebody, I feel like I've known them for my whole life. It just, mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable with people. Right. And I, that's how I feel with like all these people, all these supporters, all my family on social media. They just, we feel very, they feel comfortable to come to me and tell me about how my music has touched them. Mm -hmm. And it's just, the biggest compliment, the biggest honor of my life mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. help them through situations, you know? And mm -hmm. what they don't know, they're helping me. Yeah. Because of them that my confidence is up. It's because of them that I have more color in my music, more yeah. like um, soulfulness in my music, more... Right. Because of them, because of all, because of you, because of everything right. that people are reaching out to me. And it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. I just can't say enough. Like, it just means the world to me. That's what music did for me as I, when I was a kid, going through all the bullying and the stuff like mm -hmm. that. Music helped me. Wow. Music, you know, I would lock myself in my room and just play. 
turn the light off and just cry, play, you know, pl apply, uh, play, crying, playing, you know? Yeah. And it just help me when I was happy, I would play. You know, like mm. when I would go through a difficult situation, if I was afraid of something, mm. I would play. You know, music is just incredible. It's so healing. And it's something that like, one of the posts I just posted, I said that God, um, you're born, everybody's born with something special, yeah. right? So I just, I feel so lucky and so blessed that I found out of my, I call it the ness, like mm -hmm. my son, I say his AB ness, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like it's the special ness of that person. Mm -hmm. So I just feel so lucky that I found my ness, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just I feel so blessed that I found what I want to do for the rest of my life, you know? Wow. And what um, moment in time did you say, you know what, this is it. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I, I knew the first, literally, I knew the first time I saw the violin. Oh. I used to go around telling my mom, I'm going to play all over the world. Wow. I'm going to, uh, I just want to, I know I'm going to go like, in, you know, Europe. Right. I know I'm going to, I just, I knew it the first time, even before I, started playing the violin i knew that's what i was gonna do mm. it's and, just a feeling oh wow and by you attending the juilliard uh was is there any like nuggets you can give the audience as far as what captivated you and helping you to hone in your skill sets with with the instrument because we know that you're you know a guru since day one since the, the violin, you know, you touched the violin, but what have you extracted, go attending the Juilliard um, in, you know, instrumentally and emotionally? It, it's so funny, like, so going to conservatory, it has its pluses and minuses, let's say, okay. but like, you know, it could be very hard because it's very cutthroat. Mm -hmm. So especially, it's so funny, like violinists can be very uh, kind of like, but like cutthroat to each other. <laughs> For instance, like we were having master classes and I guess that made me stronger, you know what I mean? But we were having master classes and you know, like they're whispering in the back, oh, mm. that person did this wrong, this wrong, or you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Just so for me playing, I don't feel competitive. I mm. feel like everybody has that special type of playing, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the way I play, somebody else can play. The way somebody else can play, I can't play. Right. So for me, I just try to be like the best I can be. You know what right. I mean? So, but so I, I, I got very strong with that. It was scary mm. at first because, like I said, I'm a very emotional person. And I take things in, you know? Yeah. But um, I learned some amazing techniques mm -hmm. and skill sets from Dorothy DeLay. Mm -hmm. And so interesting the way she would teach. She wouldn't play when she taught. Huh. She would just describe it. Wow. And she was so descriptive. Like she wouldn't, she didn't really play that much. But the way she would describe things were so creative and so... Um, you know, you, you could just visualize what she was saying. And that was so good for me because I'm very visual. Mm. So like if my teacher would tell me, like the teacher who just did it for me was Eric Friedman. Mm -hmm. He was, so when I was little, I, my mom got me this um, old record. She went to this like um, old store, antique store. And she found this old record with Yasha Heifetz and Eric Friedman playing the Bach double. And I used to tell my mom, I want either Yasha Heifetz or Eric Friedman to be my teacher. So fast forward, like when I was around 19 years old, um, I was introduced to Eric Friedman and he said, if you would like to, you can audition for me. And so I auditioned and I was shaking. He was like, he's the teacher I've always wanted. And before I even played one note, he said, do you want me to tell you the truth? Before, like, do you want me to tell you if I think you could become a concert violinist or just keep it as a hobby? And I'm thinking to myself, my heart's <laughs> like 
beating out of my chest. Oh my you know, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what an opener. <laughs> yes. So I said, of course, be truthful with me. So he said to me, after I played, he said, you have what it takes. I believe in you. Like, if you're willing to start over again from scratch and learn the Yasha Heifetz technique, I, I would love to teach you violin. And he, like, literally, I started from the way beginning. And he taught me so much. He used to tell me, playing the violin is easy. People just don't know I had the right technique. And little things he taught me, it's crazy, like, how easy it is. Like, if you know the right way to do it. Wow. So him, I just, like, you know, he's no longer with us. He Unfortunately, he died of brain cancer. Hmm. But he was, like, like a grandfather to me. Like, I loved him so much. So, and I feel him with me always. Like, but he taught me so much. So much. Wow. In, his, in his technique that he taught you, was it maybe just uh, moving your finger a certain way? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, um, you know, when you're vibrato, when you play, you like, like an opera singer, like, oh. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, so um, we're doing so much here that we don't want, we want the less movements, you know, like we want things to be crisp and clean. So when people do vibrato, some do like whole arm, mm -hmm. some do wrist like this. Mm -hmm. But he said, if you tighten your bicep, so it doesn't actually come from here, it comes from your bicep. Oh, if you tighten your yeah. bicep and you're on the right intonation, and he, he calls it the wiggle. And you wiggle your hand a little, your hand, arm a little bit, the violin sings like this huge sound. Wow. So little tricks like that just make the world a difference. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that gives me chills. Yeah. But not phenomenal teaching. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Joining a community of like-minded individuals is important in any career pursuit, right? Are you part of a community of music artists, violinists, and how do you support each other? So amazing. I love that question because um, there are so many people um, in these little families that I have on you know, social media. Um, one is called the TMP Village which Little Red's a part of, um, the Vegan Queen, uh, Twixie, Divinity, Magoo, uh, Monsieur, Jimmy, like you, like, I mean, like they, we just support each other so much. We lift each other up when we're feeling down. We're always there for each other. We're always um, promoting each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a feeling when one's not well, you know, so we cover each other's back. Amazing. Amazing. Like, I feel so loved. And then I have, like, um, classical music art, music musicians, like, mm -hmm. for instance, Helen, um, right. Mustafa, all these people from all around, like, Helen's from England. I mean, she, you know, she's always there for me. Like, we always support each other. So right. we know how hard it can be. Right. You know, it's not, it's not easy what we like, what we do because right. it comes from our heart, but like we, it couldn't be any other way. Like I couldn't have it any other way, you know? Yes. Most definitely. It takes a village, not just to raise a kid, but yeah. to raise us up. For yes. sure. Um, what is one important lesson that you've learned in working in the music business? Okay, so I like that question. And one thing that I've learned, okay, you people can get too focused into the wrong thing. Mm. I'm not, I, so I don't want to say wrong thing, but for me, so like if I, so if I'm scrolling too much, like what this person, what's this person doing? You know, it's sometimes it get, can get too much for your brain, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like, when you create something 
from a place of competition or like forgetting why you started, you know, mm-hmm. for do, not doing it like for, you know, um, publicity or for the fame or for the money, you know, that comes with it, right? right. But right. why you started, your like soul, your talent, your voice right. sometimes gets lost when you're thinking about the, the distractions, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's another reason why I don't watch the news or something like that. I like to be authentic to my voice, you know, and never forget. Like, for instance, I started doing something recently that really has grounded me and just put me in a different mindset. So every morning I wake up Mm -hmm. before I do anything, I step outside on my porch and I talk to God Mm -hmm. and I say, thank you for my breath today. Thank you for always believing in me. Thank you for my blessings. Thank you for the talent. Thank you for my son. How amazing he is. And parents who believe in me. And, you know, friends who, like, always are there for me. You know, and when you start from a place of gratitude, like, even my playing is different. Like, my day goes so different. You know what I mean? So I just like to surround myself and fill myself with such gratitude and um, recognition for where it came from, you know? Can you, can you still hear me? Hello? Hello? Did you, I think uh, you, yeah, you froze. Yeah, I think we <laughs> both, I think we both froze. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Queen. Um, <laughs> let, let's let's rewind it a little bit here. Yeah. So uh, you were talking about we were talking about the lessons uh, for a music business, and then you went on to say that you stepped out the front porch. Oh yeah. You gave so, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I give thanks to every like God for everything, for the, my breath, for um, the blessings He's given to me, for my son, for my mom, for my friends. You know, like, so if you start from a place of gratefulness yeah. and knowing where it came from, you know, it just makes a world of difference right. of everything you do, you know, and that's what keeps me grounded. And that's, it's just changed my every day. Mm. So true. Yeah, definitely what you start off in the morning when you get up, it's going to make a huge difference for the rest yes. of the day. Yeah, uh, I too meditate in the morning. I do my oh, you do? Yes, wow. I, I do my meditation, even though it's like probably 10, 11 minutes. And then, yeah, you know, do the try. I, I do my best to do a quick workout or something, but uh, definitely put putting God, the universe first. Yes. Amen. And then everything will fall into place. But yeah, for sure. Like for instance, can I tell you the story of, um, you know, I'm playing my violin in a movie, right? Yes. Yes. Please tell so us. How, yeah. So how that happened is like totally not, I don't believe in coincidences. So I was with my son in Universal Studios last winter. And like I said, I love talking to people so much. Um, so in line in the Harry Potter world, um, I was uh, talking to this newlywed couple and I asked him what he does, what they do. And he was, he's a film producer. And I said, oh, wow, I'm a violinist. If you ever need, and I said it laughingly, you know, if you ever need a violinist in one of your films, I would love to keep me, you know, to keep me in mind. He's like, well, let me listen to some of your stuff. So I showed him some of my stuff. He's like, well, let's change information, uh, you know, um, contacts. So fast forward, it was my birthday, July 7th, and I was sitting and meditating and asking God to um, guide the people who's supposed to help me on my journey, right? right? 30 minutes later, I get a text from him saying, I just made a movie about a violinist. Can you be the music? Are you kidding me? Wow, queen. What? <laughs> Like, oh my God, thank you. Like, really? right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's really interesting how um, 
the universe works, right? And what you basically, what your, your thoughts come into fruition. So if you're thinking positive thoughts, positive comes back. Yes. And, and, and it's, just, oh gosh, you're giving me chills. Cause it's like, it's just affirming what you've put out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's amazing. And, and when you desire it and believe in yourself and love yourself, the universe is going to reciprocate. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is what you want to do. Here you go. Yeah. And look, I'm telling you the floodgates is already opening. So I'm just let, I'll, I'll let you know. I mean, for you, you look at you. You like what I love about you, Queen. You so, you are so authentic. You glow. You like your your soul is so genuine. Everybody who who sees you knows it. I don't even have to ask them. You're just Aww. such a genuine, uh, you know, like sweet, genuine, warm-hearted soul, like. And you just glow. So, oh, I really appreciate you, Queen, so much. Thank you so much. You know, I do this because I love helping too, helping others, yes. and it just it brings me joy, right? Because I don't know, like it, it it fills that void I feel for me uh, mentally. That's why I started it actually, yeah. Know, because uh, if I I did it for therapy. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, because I like talking to people and, and this whole COVID thing, right? So this whole COVID thing really got, um, I think, to a lot of people emotion yeah. emotionally and yeah. mentally and, and all that. So uh, and it's just funny how I started during that time frame. But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That really means the world to me too. And to know that I'm going in the right direction as well. Yeah. <laughs> I met you, you know, through this journey, which is really awesome. <laughs> and you become a part of my family. I mean, you're so supportive. You're amazing. Aww. Like you always support me, always raise me up. You're always, you know, um, it's just amazing. You're giving so, so much love and support. So I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Well, thank you. I'm here for you. If you need anything, you know, you know, my number, you know how to reach me. Um, and I'm going to continue to post your stories. I'm so excited about the film. Can, can you talk a little bit more like yes. where, where you are on it and yes. kind of give like an overview of what it is. So um, the, 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 it's called the music of Eric Zahn and it's by um, the author I believe he's from the 30s or 40s, H.P. Lovecraft, oh. the author. And it's like a psychological thriller um, mm -hmm. that his music, Eric Zahn's music, while well, he plays a violin, it's like magic. It's like unheard of music. And I am the actual music behind the actor. Wow. So, that is amazing. Yeah. And and shout out to Alyssa Burns. She's an amazing composer um, that wrote the music. And Chad Garrett is a, the amazing um, film producer director who made the film. And the first premiere is oct October 10th on locals.com. So. What? Oh my yes. gosh, that's right next. Oh my goodness, that's yes. a couple of weeks from me now. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I'm excited for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> goodness. Um, so like you're saying when there's a scene, your music comes on as he's acting or playing the role. Yeah. So he's playing and he's just mimic. Like he's not really playing. Oh, okay. Got it's got me you. that's playing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So October 10th, we need to get all this information out to folks. Um, yeah. So when you post your reel or just send me the information so we can, uh, you know, put it out there. But for the time being, where do folks go? Uh, do they just DM you or I don't want to say <laughs> where do they go to get like tickets or what have you for the show? 
So um, they have to download um, an app called locals.com. Locals.com. I'm writing this down. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to type it in the chat. L O C A L S dot com. Dot com. Okay. Okay. That's for tickets. Yeah. Okay. Tickets. And, um, okay. For the show, I'm going to put October 10. And I believe the show is at 7 30 EST. Okay. 7 30 EST. And then also after the show, I'll go ahead and put more detailed information in the feed so that way people will, you know, uh, get on the horn to purchase their tickets in advance. Maybe they have an early bird special or something yeah. like that. Yeah. The, the When I find out, you know, more about um, the details, I will let you know and I'll. Okay. Wonderful. So last but not least, yes. what is next for Yannicka? And what message would you like to give your fans and up and coming artists out here? So I just, I'm, I'm opening up my heart and I'm opening up my soul to whatever comes my way, whatever God is going to bring to me. Um, I know, so I'm signing hopefully with a record label soon. Okay. And you know, just being honored and playing with a lot of, um, you know, featured artists and a lot of, you know, uh, hip hop um, music and the movie and just the sky's the limit. I just want to touch the world with my music and help people yeah. through my music. That's just what I want to do. So I'm just very grateful and honored for everything that comes my way. So, and I'm open to it, whatever God has in store for me. So. Yeah. I love and, it. I, yeah. No, okay. go, ahead. go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I'm sorry for interrupting. <laughs> no, no. And then really from the bottom of my heart to leave everybody with, we all go through hard times. You know, I've gone through times where I wanted to give up mm. so many times. Yes. You know, just never give up on yourself no matter what really really never give up just there's always tomorrow there's always tomorrow like reach out reach out to me send me a message you know there's always somebody you can reach out to like never stop going like i feel like for some reason the higher we get, like the more we want, the more we want something like when we want a dream to come true and then we feel like it's coming, yeah. the more these little doubts play in our mind. Yeah. Oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> are you kidding? Who do you think you are? You know? yeah. Right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> so just accepting those as thoughts. They're not real, you know? Yeah. And telling yourself, I got this, you know? I right. got this. And realizing practice makes better, not perfect. Right. We're not, per nobody's perfect. And that's what makes us beautiful. We're perfectly imperfect, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But, you know, you, you hit the um, nail on the head by saying that practice makes better because yeah. repetition is the mother of skills, right? Yes. Like like mathematics, you have to, how we learn it, you have to repeat it in order to yeah. retain retain it. Yeah. And it's kind of like if you don't use it, you lose it. Right, right. <laughs> With anything. And then also the third day you mentioned, which is um, a lot of people, we go through that, that third day, like you're almost over the hump. Yeah. But, but you're like, ah, it's Thursday. It's almost Friday. You know, it's like, ah, I'm yeah. almost there. Friday yeah. or the weekend's not coming fast enough. Yeah. And, and because of our egos, we tend to say, you know what? Ah, uh, uh, forget it. And and right. then that's when your dream just goes to, you know. Right. End. Right. But, but yes, definitely. Never, um, ever give up. Never, ever give up. Well, you heard it from Yannick, Miss Yannicka. 
<laughs> Never give up. Uh-uh. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you so much, Queen. If there's anything else you would like to say to our audience, you may do so. Just, I love you all, and I thank you so much. When I say, when I say, it really means everything to me. Every, every comment, every message, like it truly, it just means the world to me. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, you know, for everything. Thank you so much for Aww. this beautiful um, get together of two souls, you know, like just connecting. I just, I love you, Queen. Thank you so much. Aww. Thank you so much. I love you too, so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, well, everyone, hold on tight, uh, Miss Yannicka. This has been a showing love full circle broadcast of NNO 360 and Miss Yannicka. Tap into all the episodes of NNO 360. Um, this is streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I will uh, download this into the Apple Podcast and Spotify and create a reel for Instagram. With that being said, thank you, everyone, and have a blessed evening. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Love it.